Hi everyone, this is Love Crafty Girl. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a weekly spread in my happy planner. For this week, I chose a free printable by Victoria Thatcher. And the printable for this week is... Pisces. As you already know, I did a Aquarius spread already. And in that film, I said that she's going to be having all the zodiac signs up on her blog, which I already printed out almost every single one. I'm missing two more. Hopefully, they'll be up soon. And I'm excited about doing every single one of these uh, for my planner. I think it's going to be cool. And I love looking at um, Aquarius. I thought it was kind of cool to see in that. So now I get to do Pisces. I'm also going to be planning them ahead of time because I know they um, come out in different times of the weeks and I want to make sure that everything flows perfectly well. So continue watching and see how I put this spread together. So I decided to put some paper for my white boxes and so I punched out some um, cardstock paper. Um, this paper actually comes in a pad that I bought at Michael's. It has to do with like the constellations and also the zodiac. Um, it has some really interesting um, paper in there as well as um, this strip that I found that has all the zodiac signs on it so I'm going to use it as a washi tape and you'll see me place it right now um, I think it's really cool and I thought you know what I should just use it for all of my spreads that I do with the zodiac so we'll see how that goes as we uh, do more in the future now I'm also trying to figure out what's the best way to go around this if I should do paper first sticker first but I think I'm going to go by placing my paper down first and then the stickers just because sometimes the edges are not um, glued well and so I don't want it to be lifting up once it's dried or with time so I decided that by placing this first and then whatever sticker I'm going to be placing like in this case the washi strip that I'm going to be using it's not a washi tape but it's just a strip of paper um, I'll at least have some of the edges you know glued down now for placement of my stickers you can see I forget that these are stickers that are a lot smaller than the actual boxes so I have to make sure it's evened out where I have some space at the top and bottom because um, if you put it too low you have a huge gap at the top and it doesn't look that good unless your washi tape you're using is wide then it, there's no reason to worry about that but in this case um, I already know the strip is small and there's no and I need to make some space so I'm just going to continue uh, placing my stickers here at the column and as well as the top placing my washi tape which I'm using the star one that I really like um, as my top um, as my top washi and then I'll place the days of the week and just finish up whatever I need to do here and then from here that'll go off to the second page So one thing I did notice in my first page is that um, I wasn't putting these boxes down first. I was just doing part of it and then, you know, working with whatever I had and then move my way up. But what I noticed is I need to place these boxes down first. That way, um, all edges are being covered up because there's a one area on the first page that I know with time it's going to lift. So I might have to go back and place more glue there and make, uh, make sure it doesn't go up. So I did that first and then from here, I'm just going to go ahead and start placing my strip of uh, paper for as washi tape and then you know just place my stickers because I also noticed that when I place one of my stickers um, and I hadn't put this strip down yet I had said I need to make sure that you have some white space at the top and bottom since the stickers are small and what had happened was um, I did do that but in without putting that strip and so I ended up having a gap at the bottom and at the top so I decided by doing this first I can go back in and place the stickers so they look all even and there's no like 
huge gap from the top or bottom. Now there's like an even gap between the top and bottom. Um, I noticed that when I did it the first time, obviously. And so that's how you learn. You know, you, you make the mistakes, but then you make sure you correct them. Um, of course, if I had uh, repositionable stickers, I could have just, you know, moved things around. But since these are not printed on that type of paper, I have to be very cautious on how I uh, place my stickers and remember that I can't lift it up or else it will get ruined. So from here, I'm just going to cover up that top part uh, with white sticker paper just because you don't want to see anything come through. Place my star uh, washi tape and in my days of the week and the days of the week I kind of go a little lower to make sure I also cover up those edges of that start of that cardstock paper that way of course it doesn't lift in case it does um, and then from here I'm just going to go ahead and place the last few stickers I need to on the white boxes and then I will be done So here's a file to point again this weekly spread and I love how it came out. It came out really nice. I love the fact that my white boxes are no longer white. Um, this all happens because I actually ordered my box punch. This is something I've been wanting to get and I finally got it. So um, what it all inspired me on that one is because I actually um, noticed that when I did the Aquarius spread, I had a lot of white boxes because I had nothing um, to put in those boxes not even a sticker or anything that would go well with that spread and so that kind of bothered me a bit because for you guys it's white but then I know that I will go back and use a color pen and write in my stuff for the days um, and but you'll never no notice that I use a pen because I don't show you guys that so I thought you know what these white boxes do bother me so then I thought well now that I have this um, box punch, I could try out and see how this will look. And I really love how it looks. Now I, I feel like it's more full, but yet I have a lot of space to write. I could still use my color pens. Um, and so I thought, you know what, this is perfect. I, I can't wait to do this again for next week. I'm happy I got the box punch. And now my spreads can feel a little bit more colorful. So I hope you guys like this. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.